So today on the internet, this happened. YouTube is going to be rolling out a subscription service where you can pay, what is it, $10 a month, and you'll be able to see all your favorite channels ad-free. Sounds great, doesn't it? I mean, if you're tired of ads, if you want to do the right thing and you actually have an ethical bone in your body, running an ad blocker is the absolute wrong thing to do. Bragging about that is like bragging that you have a small penis. Don't brag about blocking ads. It's just not cool. I've commented quite a lot in the past about um, using ad block when you um, view things on the internet. And I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Um, the thing is, here in the UK, uh, advertising is not as prevalent as it might be in the United States of the US of A, which is, of course, the only country in the world that has the internet. Um, but, you know, so here, for people living here, I don't know, I can't speak for everyone, I'm certainly speaking for myself, and I will, that if you um, travel, for example, I've driven from mainland Europe, if you like, uh, through the tunnel or through the trains or on the ferry it was actually and coming back in the UK noticed immediately uh, driving up from the coast from Dover how different it was being back in Britain to it was being in Europe because everywhere you go at the side of the road there are poles with advertising down the sides of all the streets that kind of just happens it doesn't happen in the UK when you go to America and I've driven across America three or four times I've uh, visited pretty much every state uh, and it is kind of endless the advertising is so in your face uh, when you switch on any media advertising is so in your face you can't settle down to watch any sort of program without there being an advert advertising is kind of like for me it's a it's, it's kind of like a cancer or, or that exists uh, in media it's and I understand why it exists and I know that money is needed people like to make as much money as they possibly can. I understand that and I don't have a problem with it. Um, but I want to be in control of how much advertising I expose myself to. Now, if I live here, I live in London in the UK and I listen to a lot of BBC broadcasts and I pay, uh, a year I pay, I think it's £145 now, which is uh, essentially a tax, um, but we have to pay it. We, we, we It's called the BBC licence fee and we pay, excuse me, and we pay it, and that means that we uh, don't get any advertising as 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 a result. It's public broadcasting, so there's no advertising on that. Um, and we've got like lots of BBC channels here, and we've got lots of BBC radio here, and it's all advertising free. The only thing they do is trail their own shows, essentially, which is you know fine. So my thinking and my mentality is that I don't want any advertising now. Um, if I install Adblock into Firefox or Chrome or whatever, I'm doing it because when I go to Forbes.com, for example, on my iPad, which I can probably do now, they go, first of all, I get that. I can t and I can continue to the site. And it's loading. It's still loading. It's still loading. There's an advert there. Um, I was actually here earlier on, and there was a big banner ad there. Here I am on the CNN website, and I got a splash page, which I have to skip. And, you know, adverts just kind of want to get in the way of you doing. They want to force themselves in front of you. And and, and really, that's uh, just not what, fair. I, I don't expect that. I don't want it. So, and if I can control it, I will control it. For YouTube creators to criticize uh, their subscribers, their audience, uh, for having Adblock installed when they browse the internet, then it is 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 it, it makes you a bit of a cock. It really does. If 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 you think that you, it's 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 kind of thinking that the people who come to visit your YouTube channel, all they do is come to your YouTube channel. You know, we have lives. We have a life beyond the the stuff that you make on the internet, and people who are passively enjoying content on YouTube are don't owe any creator anything. We don't have to give you money. We don't have to give you thanks. If we didn't look at your stuff, you would make it anyway. So grow the fuck up and stop complaining about fucking ad block. It's there, it exists. If you don't like the fact that some people use ad block, then try and work out another way that you can make a living. 
I'm a freelance TV producer. I have to adapt all the time. I used to just direct, which would be going out with PSC crews. So you have a cameraman with a PDW800 uh, and a sound recordist with a boom. And there'll be me directing. That's kind of becoming a bit redundant. You know, you still get it for the, the high-end docs. But for mainstream television or video making, you don't have it anymore. So I needed to learn how to use kit. And I had to adapt. And then I had... Uh, I was a professional, I was trained at the BBC, and then I had people buying equipment, like the equipment I'm talking to you on now, who came along and started making videos very cheaply, and I had to adapt. I didn't complain and moan about it, I embraced it. So, why can't people who object to adblock come, lobby YouTube and come up with entrepreneurial alternatives so that it works for them to make the content they create some sort of worthy income. So I just wanted, you know, to repeat that there's nothing wrong with anyone using Adblock. Don't let anyone criticize you for doing it. It's absolutely fine. The blame doesn't lie with the viewer, the audience. The blame lies with the tool. The, the tool by which you've built up your business is not working properly. Speak to the people supplying you the tool. Anyone who creates a living solely out of putting videos on YouTube is relying on YouTube all the time. If YouTube decide to do something that you don't like, it's pretty much tough titty. I like, I like the fact that YouTube can be an income or an extra bit of cash for people. But if you go five years, ten years, just relying on YouTube for your money to pay for your house, your mortgage, you're going to be ten years down the line with nothing on your CV, but I made videos for YouTube and then YouTube collapsed. Because YouTube will get replaced one day. There'll be something better than YouTube or it will morph into something else or you'll have to pay to be a creator. Something will happen and I don't know what it will be. I don't understand why we can't have a system where if somebody is really good on YouTube and people like them very much, they can then, I know, some sort of crowdfunding where a pool of money is gathered and then that is shared amongst creators. Why can't some YouTube creators have pay a subscription to have um, better facilities on their on, on their channels? Like they could have plugins and widgets for advertising. Why can't we have all that? Why can't they add donate buttons to their channel? Why can't they, you know, there's... there's it's not my job to come and think up of good solutions and ways that micropayments could come into YouTube. It's just not, I'm not interested in doing it. But you know, internet, please don't tell people that they've got a small penis just because they've got ad block while they watch your channel. It's childish, it's bullish, and it's unreasonable. When Peaks, they had their sign just here. In fact, I've just walked through it. And in the background, you can see Mount Sai. Uh, which is just disappearing into the clouds a little bit. It's kind of like that all round here. Uh, you've just got a bunch of greenery, a bunch of wildlife, a bunch of mountains, a bit of road, and it's very, very peaceful.